just how thin is this snake. Hi, this is Frank of the Ocho Verde Wildlife Channel. Welcome back to our series of the snakes we found in a 30-day period in Costa Rica. This is the last episode of the series. If you've enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box and give us a thumbs up. All right, let's get to the snakes. So we got our first snake of the day. I don't really recognize it, but it's way up under this root, so we'll have to have a... You know, I never would have seen that snake without my headlamp. Even though it's 9.30 in the morning, always good to have a headlamp in the jungle. I think it's one of the racers. It's uh, shedding, it's getting ready to shed. I can see his eyes are covered over. head tree snake looking for lizards. Tough to get from way down below, but if you haven't seen our famous caterpillar video, I'll put a link down below and a little message up above. Hang on, let me get your picture. I'm supposed to take pictures for Nicole. Okay. Got a little bit of pink on him. Mm. Look at their face. Their face is just amazing. Look at that. He's got that crazy eye. Oh. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a big one. Do you think you can say something? Snail. Pelo, very small. Got a buntai tree snake right here on the trail. Look at that guy. Just how thin is this snake?
super thin. Sergio Palo in the trail. Happened to be a very excitable individual. Uh, just how difficult it is to see some of these snakes at night. Uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but I'm going to zoom in. You'll see it's a northern cat-eyed snake or ornate cat-eyed snake. Here's a little closer picture of it. But what we'll do is we'll come around this way. Hopefully not step on anything venomous. And there is our cat-eyed snake. Maybe searching for frogs or lizards or just chilling out on this rainy night. All right, got a big old, big old Tercio Palo. I'm sure, you can see it. We'll walk over and see how it's going to react. Eh, ain't doing much, huh? We're not going to disturb it. They're a little excitable sometimes, but we will not excite this one. One of the things to look at is it's got that yellow beard. That's sometimes what they're called, yellow beards. The other scary thing to see is this hose is our water hose, so it's uh, not a good place for this snake to be but they will generally move on when they have a chance but that one has got a nice big head put the camera on close up we'll see if we can get a little closer to it without it freaking out so it's your pale it's a very lightly colored one too it's kind of interesting The other thing that's interesting is we're about 20 feet away from the snake. Uh, you can see this one does not have, uh, it's not very well camouflaged tonight, but in the day it can be completely different. Anyway, it's, it's going to, that snake would pack a punch. He's probably close to two meters long, believe it or not. They're super skinny and uh, agile snakes. The Tercio Pelo, number two of the night. I'm kind of not surprised. It's cooler out, rainy. This one's got the white tail, sometimes used for a caudal lure. Hard to see his head. There's his head right there. He's got an interesting pattern on the back of his head. You can see that. Anyway, it's going to be feel like it's boxed in, so we're going to let it go. Now well, it's going to be one of those nights. Tercio payload number three. They're getting smaller. There's the white tail. They use is the caudal lure. That one is almost yellow. It's 
so this is the uh, skeleton of the boa that we found dead the other night. Exactly where it should be. Down here in the frog pit. Looking for frogs to eat as well as frogs' eggs. Alright, got a blunt head tree snake on the move. It's pretty difficult to see. Maybe you can see a little pattern there. On the hunt for lizards, maybe some small frogs. Let's see if get some more footage here. Pretty amazing right here. Oh yeah. Anyway, we're gonna let her hunt a little longer. Maybe she'll find a lizard. Skinny, skinny neck snake. So it's about five feet off the ground. Yeah, all right, it's early. Uh, I'm not even sure how early it is. Not sure what that time stamp says. Anyway, we have a little tercia palo. There's a hummingbird too. Anyway, sometimes these terciopelos, they like to, uh, they like to sit up on things, kind of get out of the rain and uh, the water rolling down the hill. This is uh, certainly a newly uh, neonate, as they call it, one right out of the, relatively fresh, right out of the womb, or the cloaca. But you can see the proximity to the trail where this snake sits. This is kind of how it looks in natural light. Even though they're this small size, they still pack a punch. Just remember that I'm using a 48 inch selfie stick. That's how it appears that I'm getting much closer to the snake than I actually am. <laughs> 